I said it's only one. Oh, he ain't got it. He ain't got we done it. heard his tongue. Welcome back to It Is What It Is. I'm Treasure Wilson, aka Stat Baby, along with your host, Cam and Mace, coming to you live from Vegas. How are you doing today? What's good? Did you hear killer? What? He said he's an hour in and he ain't even started. Look yet. what he doing with his hands. He say, yo, <laughs> can anybody got some lotion? What the, oh, <laughs> like, wow. Look, look, look what he doing with his hands. <laughs> look what he doing with his hands. Why are you rubbing your hands like that asking for lotion? What are you doing? <laughs> See the way this episode's already starting. Why are you acting for lotion rubbing your hands right now? Go ahead, finish doing what you was doing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish rubbing your hands. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. We on Vegas town. Go ahead. Let's rock out. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, well, aside from being in Vegas, today we are joined with a very special guest. Born in Oakland, California, but raised in Inglewood, Paul Pierce had a love for basketball at an early age. He was the 10th overall pick in the 1998 NBA draft and was chosen by the Boston Celtics. He led the team to a championship alongside key players, including Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen, also known as the Big Three at the time. He is an NBA champion, an NBA Finals MVP, 10-time NBA All-Star, selected to four All-NBA teams, and the list goes on. Welcome, Paul That's Pierce. a hell of a yeah. introduction. Yeah. So I like that. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A hell of a see, I got you. I got you. you. Got you. Yeah, yeah you said your home girl talk. You see, you know, <laughs> hey, we got she left, the out, line, nigga. she left out the top 75 in all the fans. <laughs> the list goes on. Okay. Yeah, I got you. That's and the important. list goes yeah. on. Right. Okay. What's up? What's up? Well, right. today we are live in Vegas. We know Summer League is in full swing. So we got to talk about Hold on real quick before we start. Go for it. Yo, Paul, you the best Celtic ever. Who better than you? you no, better, no, no, no. Uh, I'm not best seller. Let me ask you, you this me. before we get to that. <laughs> Are you better than Jason Tatum in your prom? Jason Tatum pretty hard, so I'm not going to say that. Hey, we yo. Yeah, that was Jason Tatum is hard. Welcome to the show. Stop, we wouldn't know nothing about Jason. that. <laughs> yeah, that's some information no, no, we don't know about. This way to his career. This way to his career. <laughs> No, he good, but I gotta wait till it's all said and done. But Paul, he, all, he, we, he, all we need is a yes and no answer. Are you yeah, better than Paul. Jason Tatum in his in your prime? Right now, if where his career is at right now. We know he right has now, a right now, yeah. yeah. He got more to go. What about Jalen Brown? Are you better than Jalen yeah, Brown right in now, your prime? But he got some more to go. Are yes. you better than Kevin McHale? <laughs> Yeah, I'm better than Ted Kevin McHale. Yeah, I, if you want the ball down the stretch, who you going hey, to? Hey, yo, yo, yo we're going to have to clean your language up. Bro. We got to clean this if up, you want clutch, If you want clutch, who, right. who you got? Right. I'm saying, if you want a bucket, who you got? Are you better than Larry Bird? No, I ain't better than Larry Bird. All right, Bird cool. Bird was, was, was killer. Okay, cool. Where do you place yourself right now being that Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown's career is not over on the Celtics list of all-time players? I'm Bill Russell. I'm top five. Top five? Top five, for sure. I'll uh, say top right three. Now. I'll give I'll you say, top three. I'm just saying, you know, we do everything in fives. Okay. You know, so top five. Gotcha. You know, and and I, don't, I don't have no specific order, but you know Russell and Bird in there, and then you can fill out the rest. Right. Let me ask you another question. How do you feel... And I, I, you know, I, I felt the way because I'm a Paul Pierce super duper fan. So towards the end of your career, you know, you you and KG was going to grab y'all bag before it's over, and Draymond Green came out his face and said, "Yo, you want some? You trying to be Kobe? You not Kobe? Why you on that Kobe run? How'd you feel? Because I kind of felt the way. Like, don't disrespect the truth <laughs> like that. Let me tell you how that whole situation went down. Got you. So they was I was on the bench. Right. Blake Griffin and Draymond going. They they matched up. Mm -hmm. And Blake Griffin at the time was one of the top players. And right. so Draymond was just feeling some way about Blake. And I was like, Blake, kill him. You know, he ain't, he ain't shit. Right. You know, fuck him. Mm -hmm. Whatever. And then Draymond says something, but I'm on the bench. And at the time, I didn't hear nothing. So, like, when you hear the microphone and I'm just sitting there not saying nothing, because if I had heard him, I would have <laughs> spit something back. Right. Mm -hmm. But I didn't hear what he said. But you heard it because he was under the basket. Right. And under the basket is the camera with the mic. Right. So I'm just sitting there like he ain't say nothing. Got you. Because I would have had some words for that, too. Got you. Because, listen, 
I'm dr- so it looked like he spit at me, and I was like, and "That's how like, I took yeah, it." Like, that's like, like, that's how like, I looked at it. Like, oh, he, he got <laughs> right. me. No, I right. didn't hear what he said. Then you know, we got the social media. I can look up Twitter after the game and social. I'm like, oh, okay, damn, I didn't even hear all that. Right, got you. That's so. That's how that went. Got you. Look, so we got a bunch of questions later. I just want to set it off with that. Right, so right. anything you got murder before? Right, right. Nah, we're gonna get it. Yeah, we get to it later. All right, cool. I just want to <laughs> yeah. so don't act like he checked me. Like it makes you like check me. No, no, yeah, I, say, I didn't I hear what he said. Got you. So like after the game, I was like, oh, I didn't even hear what he said. Nah, say no more. Nah, like right. I said, I just wanted to we wanted to get you involved yeah, for us sure. early. For sure. For Definitely. Sure. Hey, and again, right. welcome to the show. You thank see you, how we do it over here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. you know, I fit in with this. Yeah. Hey, yo. Won't stop. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Won't stop. I'm going to keep right. getting caught. Oh, boy, I fit boy. in with this. <laughs> hey, I fit in with this. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Say no more. Clarify. Just let's, let's be clear with this. Let's be clear. That's it. <laughs> Just be clear. Okay. Uh, so... As we know, Summer League is in full swing, and all eyes have been on Victor Wembinyama. He arrived from France and was the number one overall pick for the 2023 NBA draft and is already getting an interesting view on the USA. During Summer League, he got into an altercation with pop star Britney Spears. It's alleged his security team slapped her in the face, and she claimed she fell to the floor. As of now, no charges will be filed. What are your thoughts on the whole entire situation? I think I think she was supposed to get slapped. You can't be running up on niggas when they hot. If you hot, you're gonna get slapped. <laughs> Britney, know? if anybody know Britney should Britney know, because you that. was hot at one time, yeah. Britney. You know damn well, Britney. If <laughs> if you were, if this was or, or like oh one, oh two, and somebody ran down on her like the you same can't. way she tried to run down on Wimbe, yeah. They would have slapped fire out. She caught a little yeah, back slap. She just caught a, she, a portion yeah, of it. Yeah, that wasn't even bad. You didn't fall to the ground. Yeah. We seen the video. Listen, we're not advocating to hit women whatsoever. We're totally against that. that. Totally against hitting women. But you can't (laughs) run down on people like that and just think that you're going to do what you're going to (laughs) do. Secondly, and no disrespect to you, Brittany, Niggas, well, nobody know what you look like no more. My nigga. You been missing. I don't know what the fuck you. I walk right past you. I ain't seen you, and I don't know how long. We don't know if you age well. We don't know nothing. You let Taylor Swift run in that little spot. That's a Taylor Swift lane now, my baby, nigga. Baby, baby. Yeah, I don't know what you look like, Brittany. Now, mind you, I'm from America and don't know what you look like. So a nigga from Paris nigga from and his Paris. team have no idea what you look like. <laughs> Be careful out there, when Be careful. <laughs> well, I seen the video. You can't do that, Brittany. You know yeah. better. You know better. And you can't run down on niggas when they hot. There's, you know, when a nigga is in his glory, his glorious days, you can't just run up on him like yo. And I know the security was thinking. He's like, I gotta. You know yeah. how the security yeah, yeah, is yeah. there. Cause they, you see it? They, yeah, they, I see it. They didn't break stride. He slapped her in most <laughs> walking motion and just Bow. kept moving. <laughs> We're not, like again, we're not supporting hitting women, but be careful. Be careful. I think this would have been not just a women's situation. Anybody who ran down on the hottest player in the NBA. So just be careful, everybody. This is not a gender-related thing. This is more of a just beware who you run down on situation. What do you think they promised, though, that made her run after them? I just think that Britney is looking for a come up at this point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> Brittany, like, I get, Brittany? I get pregnant. I get pregnant. Because you got to realize, look, Brittany not from the streaming era. She might not be getting her royalties or shit. We don't know what kind of deal Brittany got. She might not be collecting nothing. She ain't, she ain't re-record her albums. I'm not saying Brittany fucked up. I don't know. You are saying that, though. The way she ran behind him, she looked fucked yeah. up. I'm not yeah. saying she fucked up. But it's she the way she promised she could go. I tell you this much, right? I, this is what I will tell you, and I'm going to leave Brittany alone after this. I'll let you handle it and get, let Stat give up. Yeah. And if Paul has it. let him handle it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, 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 that was crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, yo, let, now let me tell you something. Now, I like that. I, I like know, that pause. Now, 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 now can I say something? Right now. Can I say uh, something? Uh, yeah. That was crazy. Uh, yeah. Now, let me tell you something. You nah, right, nah, Chill, chill. But what I'm telling you is, don't get a friend. He'll turn nah, on you. Don't do not get a friend. But see, but you know what? I was saving this because May said, you know, when you balling and you in all your glory. I was like, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I let. 
let you chill. I let you chill. You said when you know all your glory. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he gonna let you handle no, it. Hey, man, he gonna let you handle it though. <laughs> but yeah, you chill out. Okay, that you know what? I'm glad you on point. That I'm glad you on point. point now, look. Yeah, yeah I, I I'm figured glad. it out early. Yeah, I'm on. I'm What'd on now. I'm, I'm on. What'd you say before? I that? figured it out early. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm on now. Got you. Say yeah. no more. <laughs> what I will say is this: the boots Britney had on when she ran down on Wimbay. Yeah. She just had the same boots on the other <laughs> night dancing the Plies video. Plies posted it on his page. I said, those them, you know what I'm talking about? Them the same white boots she had when she run down on women. I don't know if they- What kind of boots were There's some little low cowboy joints. Like, they was like some white them lover shit. boots shits. cost a lot, though. Them boots cost a lot. I'm not saying they don't, but I'm just saying they she maybe- gotta switch them, though. Maybe they are favorites. I have no idea, <laughs> but I just say, I don't know. I just say, Brittany, I don't know what Brittany looks like. I hope you're doing good, Brittany. This is no so offense So if Brittany walked by right now, you wouldn't even know. No, absolutely not. Well, Damn. When's the last time you seen Brittany before the slap? Damn. Let me oh, ask you a question, man. just seriously. When's the last time you seen Brittany? Before the slap. Right. No, Stat wasn't media. born. Before the Stat slap. Stat don't even know. Stat, did you know Britney Spears like yes. this? So if she was well, walking amongst a group of, of other white people, you just wouldn't even recognize her. If she's walking by herself. Damn. I, I That's wouldn't. crazy. But listen, what you got to realize. Killer wild disrespectful. Like some other blondes. Yo. Wild she blended disrespectful. In. If yo, she blended Brittany, in, I probably wild wouldn't. wild disrespectful. See, the problem is this, Murder. You just trying to be, you mean, I don't know if you want a Britney to Spears to do a feature or some shit. I don't know. You, we don't know what the, what I'm saying is, if you ain't seen somebody in 20 years and they're not around, you don't know how they age. She don't look like she did 20 years ago. What you going to do with a Britney Spears feature? That's what I'm asking you. You advocating for it. You advocating like, yo, that's what I want to know. Stat was born yeah. in 2001. I don't yeah. know how she know Britney. That's what that's the year Britney yeah, was popping. That, you you don't even know paid in full, but you know you okay. know that's wild okay. disrespectful. Okay. Brother. Oh, she never seen a movie we Friday. Keep going yeah. back to oh, the movies. I don't watch movies. You still like watch Friday? But I know who not yet. She what? never seen Baby I'm Boy. I'm waiting for the moment. Yeah. You seen Baby Boy? <laughs> she got to do her history. No. She got to she got to do a history. Of, I know the history the, of it, like but I haven't summer. watched it. You got to be if you are gonna be we, part of the culture and doing stuff that's part of culture. <laughs> yeah, you got to yeah. watch. Yeah, we already we seen, got on about it. They did. They definitely did. Minister have, Society boys in the hood. Did. We got to watch all. all that. Tell her, Paul. We told her all yeah. this shit. She probably knows movies like I know what you did last summer. I've not, I haven't seen. I don't. That. I like <laughs> horror I haven't movies. Seen that. Yeah, she, she but knew it. <laughs> back to the Britney situation. So even though his security guard was the one who allegedly slapped her, comments in Victor's on his Instagram page are basically saying, "You can't disrespect the queen. Why are you doing that?" So he's getting a whole bunch of hate and spam comments, even though he wasn't the one who did it. So do you guys have any the thoughts queen, about that? The queen. Who's the queen? A Britney. queen of what? <laughs> Brittany, the what queen. What is she the queen of? They say she's what? the queen. Don't disrespect the queen. Oh, I ain't know. Queen Clearly, no Victor didn't either. Cause <laughs> I didn't even know that it was uh, it was hate towards Wimby. Yeah, no, it's bad. Uh, like it's split. I'm lost. That's that go to show we in the wrong circle. I don't yeah. even be in that circle. <laughs> I didn't even know it was hate. First yeah. of all, to be to, to be honest with you, all jokes aside, uh, Wimby didn't even look back. Yeah, like he didn't even know what Wimby was going didn't on. Know. He didn't know. He didn't know. He didn't even look back. So yeah. Yeah. be mad at the security. I don't, I don't understand why you be mad at Wimby. Okay. Yeah. Also at Summer League, Victor had his first NBA game debut and had nine points, eight rebounds, five block shots, and three assists. He redeemed himself with game two with 27 points, 12 rebounds, and three blocks. But what do you have to say about everyone saying he had a poor performance for his debut? It seemed like he had the same game on, what you call it, be having? Who? Oh. Um, what's the guy name that I said I was gonna choke, but I, I apologize. Oh, uh, pa, um, Pat Beverly. He had a Pat Beverly game. Yes, he, went, <laughs> <laughs> he had a triple single. Yeah, he had a triple <laughs> single. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I thought we apologized to yeah, Pat. I thought, did, yeah, yeah we, Pat, you know we love you. Yeah, buddy. we just keeping him in, in yeah. the loop. Listen, he shot two for thirteen. It's a lot of pressure, pause, and coming from overseas, being a number one pick. A lot of eyes are on you. Everybody's looking, but he spun the block. Yeah, Next he day, did. he definitely spun right, the block. Right, He spun the block. And, and then they told him to chill out. Because that's all they need to see. I think yeah. what happened is after that first game, and I don't know this for a fact, this is all speculation, that he had to talk with Pop. Like, I seen Pop punch Kawhi Leonard in his chest and say, you are the best player on the floor. Why don't you understand that? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes 
And I'm not saying Victor doesn't under, doesn't understand that, but sometimes you need your coach's support. When you don't have your coach's support, mm -hmm. it gets mental, and then you may not shoot good, and you may think you're going to get subbed out. And I'm not saying that goes for him. Of course, he's going to play a lot of minutes and mm -hmm. looks like rookie of the year, et cetera, et cetera. But when you got your coach's support, that means a lot. And I think Pop may have told him, Yo, go out there and play. Don't yeah. worry about missing, et cetera, et cetera, because he definitely spun the block. No, nah, no. Nah. Right. Yeah. He was playing in the French League, and mm -hmm. then he came to the NBA. Mm -hmm. So he he didn't understand what type of game it was. So okay. he had to warm up and, and see what it was. Mm -hmm. And then once he saw what it was, he came back the next day and was like, oh, okay, this is what it is. All right, this is how I got to play. Got you. That's what that was. So I let, would, let me ask I you this. I would definitely need to see another game, though. Let me ask sure you this, quote: What's the difference between the French League and the WNBA? I'm, I mean, pardon me, the NBA. <laughs> well, you got I just better. Game. First of all, you, no, probably got, you probably got better athletes. It's different rules. The game is faster. Guys are, are better over here. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he over there, and it's a certain type of game. Then he come over here. Like he said, the game faster. You know, guys... Uh, and, and, and also, they like you act like this. This guy's out here, like, oh, that's their more pick. I want, I want to, yeah, it's a, I, I want to stand yeah, up. It's a target, and, 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 and you're a target, right? So, so that first game, he wasn't prepared for that. Got you. So he saw what it was, even though he got dunked on. Remember, he got dunked on. Yeah. So he was like, okay, right. You know what? Let me come back tomorrow. I, I see what y'all on. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna come back and show y'all what it is. Got that's you. what it looked like to me. Got you. So, cause we had something that we brought yeah. up. He said that. Paris is tougher yeah. than the NBA. Nah, he, he, you know what? He said that, but this is summer league. So you mm -hmm. got summer league full of G League, mm -hmm. uh, overseas cats. Now, mm -hmm. you're going to go up here with Embiid and Giannis. You, you, shh, come on now. Right. Come on now. Right. You, you, you can say that about this. This is summer league. Yeah. Right. This is the real thing when you mm -hmm. get to the season. Right. You ain't going to be saying that, that it is soft and, 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 and it's more guys that got strength that's going to push you around, that's going to elbow you, that's going to dunk on you. You ain't going to say it's so You ain't going to be... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. push you around. Go ahead, yeah. 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 you on the road. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hold <laughs> I want to know. No, 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 Got you. It's freshman, maybe you were varsity, yeah, right? Yeah, this, you go upstairs, you know that's when they go down. Got you. What do you think he's going to do this year? What do you think about it? I think he's going to win rookie of the year. I mean, I, I feel like this. He should be, he should. You going on the record of that? I think he should win. You know what? It's going to be out of him and Chet Holmgren. And what about Scoot? He's a good player, but I don't think he's going to have the opportunities these guys going to get. What about Russell? Miller? He ain't gonna have the same. Miller is over there in uh, Charlotte. You got Lamelo. You got other cats that's gonna shine. Mm -hmm. Whereas in, in uh, San Antonio, he gonna walk on the court. He should be able to get you at least fifteen and ten and three blocks. I, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with him getting rookie of the year. But a lot of people are saying he's gonna make the All Star game. What do you think about that? I think it's a great chance because you got to understand the all-star yeah, game go come off the votes. Mm -hmm. So, like, if mm -hmm. you already know LeBron going to be in there, you already know Steph going to be in there, you already know KD going to get voted in. Them three for sure in the West. So who in the West that you think is popular that can get them votes outside of those three? Maybe Luka Doncic or Kyrie, but you talking about a phenom or Zion. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's up in the air. I don't know. If we go no votes, I'm gonna say he's definitely gonna go because yeah. it's well, you got the whole country. Vote, I was just about to the say French it. vote, it ain't like the Chinese vote. That's what I was about to say. You know what I'm saying? Right. It ain't like that vote, cause it's different. Like, cause when you had uh all the, all of China voting for Wiggins, because all of China is Golden State Warriors fans. Right. Yeah. And that's why Wiggins made it. Well, even year. even but like, we, like could, we could go for Yao Ming and Shaq. That's what I was going to say. But exactly. Yao Ming was good. Yao right. Ming could play. Not, yeah. So, but Yao he Ming deserved was, to start over Shaq. Not start no. over Shaq, but he that, was the only one in the league dunking on Shaq. Yeah, but come on, now you can't you can't no, no, say he's supposed to start over Shaq. No, no, not start over Shaq. Right. 
But it's I, a business though. And when that money involved, you know, that makes sense. Money makes sense over there. Like, but So then him making it is going to make sense because it's going to make more money for the league. It makes sense. It yes or no, sense. Paul? We need an answer. Is he going to make the All-Star game? I don't think he make the All Star game this gotcha. year. Okay. Okay. Mm. There's too many other popular players. What do you think, Steph, Taylor? You think Zion, he make it? All them, no, I don't think he make it. My opinion? Mm -hmm. I think he makes it on a business business decision as far as his play. I got to see. I, I'm not judging anybody's game off two summer league games. Even when he had a poor summer league game in the first game, everybody's like, "Oh, he ain't shit. He ain't shit." And I'm like, "Yo, I'm not judging, homie." Yeah. Off no fucking one summer league game. Right. I'm not doing. I'm not judging them off two summer league games. And pardon me. You got a Finals MVP here, uh, top seventy five, a uh, perennial All Star, telling us that this is he's in the lobby. <laughs> he ain't even yeah. get to the second, third, no, fourth, no, fifth floor you. yet. He's oh, the last team. dude to make the All Star game his first year was uh, I think Blake Griffin. Okay. That's because he came in dunking on everybody. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So who who what popular vote is he gonna make? He gonna have to get voted in because I don't think it's played. Is he gonna be more popular than LeBron, Steph, KD, Kyrie, Luca, Zion? That's already six guys. D I named. Booker, Booker in the West. Mm -hmm. yeah, he the, can get more votes than D Booker. Crazy. Yeah, he mm -hmm. can get more votes than him. Mm -hmm. But the other guys, I don't know if he gonna get more votes than those. I think when it comes to if we're going solely on votes. He got the wave. You got Britney Spears tracking them down and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that <laughs> he it, might, yeah, he might, he like wave. yeah, he got he a mainstream got, he, yeah, wave right. right now. So <laughs> right. if we're going on votes, he's gonna make it. Like I ain't see Britney. Like I told not yeah. to not to you know you know keep talking about Brit. But when's the last time we seen Brit running yeah. down on anybody? Yeah, for so real. So it's something else going Justin on with this Timberlake. guy, right? Yeah, there that you was go. the last person she was running down. Exactly. On. So that's my opinion on that. Okay, and then Paul, you gave your answer on who you think would be Rookie of the Year. Is yeah. your final answer Wemby or is it Chet? Oh man, I, I think <clears throat> I forgot about Chet. And I want to know yeah, y'all's answers too. I think it's gonna be Wemby actually. Okay, Chet got to play with Shea Gilgis Alexander, who averages thirty. Yeah, and an All Star, so he gonna get all the looks over in San Antonio. It's it's jump ball, you know. It's whoever they can, they can. I I think, I think he could be the man right away. Yo, that was I, crazy. Yeah, it's, it's really wild. With him. Yeah, you could let him. I, I yeah. just, at this point, just let him do what he <laughs> thinks. <laughs> I think, you Yo, know, wow. you, 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 just, like, just let, at this point, don't even say nothing, Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> just let him do what he just let him go ahead, man. Stat went. Yeah. 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 Yo, Stat was Stat look out to the corner of the eye. She's like, I'll just be waiting for y'all to. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. No. It's crazy because Stat picking up when Stat picks up on this is it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm killing But Stat what I will say is this on a serious note is that I like Chet and Paul's like. And him playing with Sha, I just think that they gonna have a better record. If he yeah. look, if that's a that's he a foot might, race. He might, he might, he might win a, it over. That's on. a foot race. See, I don't like that shit. Like even with Ben Simmons mm -hmm. winning the fuck playing rookie of the year when you with the team yeah. already the whole year, so you practicing with the team. You know, you're what doing NBA expecting. drills. You're doing all this yeah. shit. So you so kind of really not a rookie. But right? you own the son. Exactly. That's what we talk about. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you that's Ben Simmons one. I'm like, how the fuck he winning? He with the team the whole yeah, year he before. Playing, he was playing on a on a rookie team when he should have been with the sophomores. Yeah, exactly. And the same right. thing with Chet. Right. And I'm saying, like, Chet, I like I, I like Chet a lot, pause. I'm just saying, like, to me, he could still win. He didn't play no game, but what I'm mm -hmm. saying is. You doing all NBA shit for a whole year, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's that means it's something. Like right. Red exactly. That means something. Exactly. It's like he red shirted. Right, exactly. Yeah, that means something for sure. Right. Okay. And lastly, Victor was pulled from playing in any more summer league games. Did the Spurs make the right decision? I, I think so. I think so, but as a fan, I would have. We fucking in Vegas. We came out yeah. here to fucking see the nigga <laughs> yeah, play. Yeah, I hate when they do that. Like, yeah. you fly out to see a player play and then. And then they pull them from the game. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's a waste of money. We need our money back. I ain't pay anyway, but you know, at the end of the Going day, to, we, yeah, summer oh, league oh, is oh, like not to South cut you off. Our, flight, our flights and hotels and all this <laughs> other shit. We definitely need that money yeah. back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, go to Summer League, you right. <laughs> it's like Southwest. You sit where you want to sit. Yeah, you yeah. get a ticket and just sit wherever the fuck you want to like sit. I don't like that. I don't yeah. like it neither, and I don't like the way I was treated at Summer League this year. I, I, and shout out to the Aces. They treated a nigga right. Vegas Aces, my man Larry, president over there, the Aces. Y'all treated a nigga like you was supposed to be treated. We appreciate you, baby. That was crazy. It's all female league. Right. It's no, all female man, league. Larry, Larry treated your no, man Larry. You the way I didn't say that. He treated like the way you treated him. Shout out to the president. He treated like you did. Y'all treated Yo, He treated like the way you did. He treated like the way you not trust me. Some of you. He treated you like the way you did. He treated you like the way you did. I said the president of the WNBA. Shout out to my man Larry. Say no more. Let's do it. I did not say that. We can go to instant replay. Hey, bro. I'm not saying that got instant replay. <laughs> After the next break, we go into instant replay of that. And y'all are both how looking for reaching. How did he treat you? Hey, Gil, how did he treat you? Now that's, now that's <laughs> real pause because y'all want to be inquisitive about it. <laughs> now y'all fantasizing. That's even crazy. How did he treat you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, right? y'all got it. You know what? Shout out to the <laughs> Shout out to the Aces. <laughs> hey, say no more. Like you I like the Aces, man. I think okay. they got a dope yeah. team. So definitely shout out to the Aces, oh, man. Oh, man, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> okay. Well, say shout no out to the Aces. How did he treat them? Sure, sure. Hey, brother, how did he treat them? <laughs> you know what's so crazy, bro? I get niggas pulled so crazy. They niggas want to... Today, nobody is safe. And I will add, I think we all wanted to see Wemby play, but I understand the Spurs decision to take him out because he has too much negative stuff coming from yeah. everywhere else. So just sit the boy down, let him sit this out. He'll come back and return. But all we can do is wait and see what's next for Wemby. With that, we'll be right back. One eye, one heart, one love. Excuse me? After last night's performance, we're going to do this again? No. Yeah. Not tonight. I don't think so. And make sure you close the door behind you. When I take the pussy up, babe. 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 I'm Rico fucking strong. Took that horse power oh, and told the girl to yeah. get it up. Baby! Fast money, money, fresh and cash money. Moscow mule. I'm back. The people have spoken yeah. and they're saying ESPN is stealing our swag. Yeah. They hosted a segment called Cap or No Cap. And there was another segment where athletes were being matched with what rapper they are. Any thoughts? That's crazy. We need to jack them back. Pause. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. That was the worst one of the night. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We need to stop I'm now. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. What we need to do again? Like, what? What? What'd you say? What'd you what say? about the aces? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hold on. What did you say? I'll tell you what you say. We need to jack them back. I don't, I don't know who jacked who first. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Obviously, oh I see you. I'm going to give you a minute to yourself. Watch out, man. 
Listen, well, I think what Murder was trying to say is, <laughs> is them niggas, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I know they making cuts and doing a bunch of different things. And I can't speak for ESPN staff or anything, but a lot of shit is looking crazy up there. Yeah. I'm not going to hold you. I'll tell you a few things that I seen. I seen they was driving by um, Jerry Jones Stadium and the porta potties was on fire. Yeah. And they had somebody say, well, that shit is lit and beeped out the shit. And I'm like, that's crazy. Now they talking about <laughs> they had people, players talking, and then they go back to um, Malika Andrews and um, Kendra Perkins. Perkins and be like, so if this cap or not, when the fuck did y'all start worrying about was cap? <laughs> Secondly, I don't think they, I don't think Malika might know what cap was until somebody say, though, we're gonna do a cap segment. It's looking like <laughs> white chicks, the movie. Yo, bro, it's so fucking wild. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know, every we all part of we're black and we know culture and so on and so forth, but but ESPN to throw a cap segment in there. We just did the cap hats and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Now they got a cap sec sec segment. Secondly, I seen an episode to where they said we're going to match rappers with athletes. And it was in the morning time. And I didn't even know none of these analysts. This was the first day after the yeah. cuts and shit. I knew the black female who's doing um, NFL now. I don't know the name her name off the top of my head. But the best comparison was... Michael Jordan and Jay-Z. I was like, I like yeah. that. Then she said, I'm going to go Lamar Jackson and Eminem. And I'm like, yo. Yeah, that was crazy. And it, it just, yo, it was that mad was weird. Crazy. I'm looking because I'm like this. ESPN, yeah. don't go out like that. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a ESPN <laughs> fan. Don't go out like this. This is looking bad. It's looking really, really pathetic, man. Yeah. And I, I'm not going to. Ask Paul anything because he I don't know if he's going back <laughs> over to ESPN. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm done. Oh, okay, good. I didn't know. I'm good. I didn't no, know. I didn't know if he was at any thing going back I to my, I had my farewell tour. Right. So ESPN. What do you think about when you watch ESPN in the last two months or so? Do you I don't notice watch. any? Okay. I don't watch. Oh yeah. So they can like, say fuck them. <laughs> yeah. There's too many outlets for me to watch. You know to get the updates. Right. You know what I'm saying? I could watch highlights on Instagram. I could hear y'all talk about what's popping weekly. I mean, there's right. too many different outlets right. that I can go to. Right. You know what I'm saying? That I can get the update. So it's no need. That's why it's a lot of layoffs. They got to cut the budget. Right. Because it's like nobody watching no more. Gotcha. Yeah. Because there's mm. too many other people that can give you the information. There's too many other people that can update you on what's going on. Right. So yeah. why do I have to go to ESPN? Got you. They said they you fired know, them because they wasn't showing up to work. They was just trying to show up one day a week. They was showing up. It's just people ain't watching no more. Why we right. want to watch when we can get on our phones real quick and watch a quick highlight or shit. If we want to be entertained, I could watch It Is What It Is. I could watch KG and, and PP t and Truth. Yeah. Right. I could watch Matt and Stack. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. It's too many Gilly other outlets. Gilly and Wallow, absolutely. Gilly and Wallow. It's too many right. outlets I could watch and be entertained right. on a better level. Right. You, Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's so, the same old format that's going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I just say, look, I just I just think that that the lately stick to what y'all are doing because when you try to cross, and I can't tell you how people out of work at ESP and I still watch, mm -hmm. but when you trying to do some shit that you don't do, it's, it, obvious. it's obvious. It's, it's obvious. dead obvious. And, and y'all have, no, it doesn't look like y'all have the right... <laughs> person in y'all programming room to tell you like that's kind of corny that's kind of yeah. corny i think that y'all should stay in what y'all been doing and whatever podcasts or whatever other people watch do that because trying to be like that it, it looks mad yeah. fake it looks it's like corny. a gangster rapper doing a reggae tone album it's like is, they, not, they, they, they ain't involved <laughs> right you know they not evolving <laughs> yeah. right so if you've been doing the same coat and tie shit all these years and other people coming with a different perspective mm -hmm. on the sport and, and people that's from the culture and people that really played and people that's really part of it, mm -hmm. then why I need to watch y'all? Absolutely. It's, what they're doing now is reminding me of a drug dealer in a Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> and I don't believe no drug dealers in Tyler Perry movies. I like Tyler Perry movies, but not for drug dealers. Yeah, right. that's, that's how I look at that. Okay. On another note, Skip Bayless said he wants Charles Barkley on his show for Undisputed. And pause this whole thing because y'all are not about to get me. He said, I would dive out of bed every morning out here in Los Angeles at 2 o'clock in the morning to get to work with Charles. Please, Charles, please come and please work with me. What a joy it would be to do battle every day with Charles Barkley live on television. I thought he said it, Paul. He wanted to annihilate 
You didn't say that too. <laughs> he said that too. It just goes on. Skip <laughs> that. Yeah. Like chill out. Skip. On TV. Skip yeah. that. Chill out. He yeah. said he want to annihilate him. Yeah. On TV. Yeah. <laughs> Charles, don't be that token nigga murder with so <laughs> <laughs> Don't Charles, be that token, please. nigga. Don't, don't do be it. that token. Don't, don't be do that it. token. Look, be, and I'm not going to talk who? about it too much because we, not to cut game, I'm who sorry. Who would make a good token, nigga? The whole thing is we did a whole token, <laughs> nigga, talking about Skip last time. So I'm like, look, I ain't going to spend too much time on Skip pause because we, we talked about him last episode. <laughs> I said pause. Too much time on him, huh? Yo, so pause don't mean nothing. All right. So, all right. so, <laughs> so pause don't mean nothing when you say pause. Just, just skip the pause. Right, right, right. You ain't gonna spend too much time on Maybe we on should ask Paul. Yeah. Who would be a good token nigga? For Skip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, I can't even put, I, I can't even put nobody in that position. In that <laughs> pause. Pause. <laughs> 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 no, 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 Cause we don't want to stop every minute. Yeah, right. we're so, so go uh, ahead. We're not going to stop you every put... time. I want you to overthink it. Cause we'll <laughs> just don't bring it see up later. Nobody. Taking over for Shannon Sharp, really. It's like right. nobody. You know what, though? It is one person I can see in that spot. Uh, oh, they, uh, Shady McCoy. Shady McCoy. They, he, I seen. I heard his name pop up, too. Shady, Shady McCoy could be cool in that spot, though. Right. Mm -hmm. I, think I think he'd be know. straight. Okay. Yeah, I like Shady in that As spot. As a token. I mean, he not really token, though. Shady going to keep it 100, and he going to go back at him. Shady uh, was at the, on the block party in Harlem. And yeah, a, yeah, and no, I think yeah. Shady would be a Shady good official. one in that spot. I'll put I him think, in that spot. I but think, the question was token, and Shady ain't, ain't a token. But Shady ain't no token, so yeah. Yeah. But I it'll like make, it'll make the too. show good. Mm -hmm. Like I, I probably would watch it if Shady was on there. Right. I think that I like. I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying, but I just really think that Skip, and he knows his demographic. You know what I'm saying? He knows what's going to work for him. But let me. Act, this this is what we talked about last show. Let me ask you this, Randy you, Moss. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Randy do you, Moss. Do you think his show will work with another white host? And what white host would it work with that would make you want to watch? Ooh, got to be a good one. Uh, it got to be. See, to me, when I watch these sports shows, I want to hear the per perspective from not only an analyst, but I need somebody that at least was in the athletic like field. Like play, played in the game. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, whether it's basketball, football, whatever. Right. So, if it's gonna be a, another white host in that spot, I'm gonna say uh, Gronkowski. Gronkowski, maybe. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. Gronk. He ain't got I, no debate game with him. He can't. I, he, I he, he get he'll Gronk, get crushed. Yeah, Gronk. Gronk is just turning this shit into a circus, like Gronk. <laughs> but that's I what think, people want to see. Right, but Gronk. Gronk elbowed a nigga like WWF <laughs> one game after the fucking play was over. Like, you might got that early uh, CTE joint, but I don't know. No disrespect. I hope he don't. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I don't know if Gronk's a good debater. I think Gronk will make it more funny. But we were just. My boy Edelman. My boy Edelman. Uh, for the Patriots? Yeah. Yeah, I like, I like Edelman. Th that's my He's boy. a serious think... nigga, too. Yeah, yeah, He's serious. Yeah, he get real. real serious. Yeah, I think he'd be cool. Yeah. So we just because we were saying that know. we don't know if, if Skip could do what he's done over the last 10, 12 years with a white yeah. co host. And I think he knows that. That's some credibility. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. I don't know. They might have to cancel the show then. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, Won't you get on there, kill? I wish I would kill be a token. <laughs> Slap the shit out of Skip. <laughs> Fuck, I look like I ain't nobody token. I think whoever going in there, whether, I, whether you <laughs> my man, going in there, you whether you, 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 listen, what, and I like Shady McCoy, I like Randy Morse. The way we looking at it is token. That's just our opinion because, okay. listen, yeah. And I, and I and I and like I said, Shady, my guy, like that's my nigga. That's he can't come to for real, for real. I'm just saying in general, I know with Skip. See, so how we looked at it was this: he's on, and I could be wrong. I don't know the numbers. He's on first take. It's yeah. cool. With Stephen A. Get on, shit get super, super duper lit. Cool. He leaves and go to Fox One or Fox Sports or whatever it's called. Yeah. You get Shannon now. Shannon doing extra nigga shit, and Skip is like. 
do more nigga shit. Get the black and mask. Get the weed. Get the Hennessy. Yo, put on the goat mask. Put on the stocking cap. Yeah, keep being a nigga. We need more nigga shit. Because you know, you know when we watch it, we like, yeah, nigga up there with the Hennessy, nigga. Yeah, nigga up there smoking the black fucks I'm talking about. But Skip like, this is what's going to draw the black fan in. Right. You, this right. is going to get us more niggas. More niggas. Right. And we watch it because we entertain. Like, yeah, um, now we call them um. Yeah. Right. Skip knows that. So we sitting there seeing ourselves like, now you want more niggas. He make an announcement of a day. Little Wayne's going to be more involved with the show. Why you want Wayne going to be more involved? Because he's a nigga nigga. Now he want nigga niggas. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So that's how we, that's why we, you know, yeah, you probably ain't seen last show. That's, that's how yeah, we came he, up he, he reaching. He right, reaching. Right. So when Shannon was doing all that, listen, when we first, and I love Shannon um, on the show. I'm just sitting there saying, when we first started watching, we like, yo, is, is Shannon smoking weed? Yo, <laughs> hold on, the nigga just, yeah. the nigga drinking Hennessy at six in the morning? No, he ain't come up here with the stocking cap. No, he does not have yeah. a black in mouth. Right, no, he don't. Yeah. The other side of his mouth pours like, yeah, yeah, and like, yo, so we're sitting there like, oh yeah, I'm turned up. Yeah. Um, but now, meanwhile, this is record label shit. Yeah. Yo, go out there. Go out there with the Uzi. Yeah, go out there with the Uzi. <laughs> 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 yeah. Exactly. Hey, go yeah, go crazy, nigga. Go yeah. get your body and make me rich, boys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's how you said, you're looking at Skip as a CEO yeah. of a record label in the 90s. Yeah, so he's Jerry saying bring Hello. Lil Wayne on there, bring the cup out, bring yeah. the lean. Yeah, yeah Lil. Yeah, we really going to go crazy. Exactly. So that's how he was looking at it. Okay. Well, Skip is struggling, but hopefully soon he will find the perfect debate. Partner. He got enough money. He ain't struggling, struggling. <laughs> yeah, he ain't struggling. He just got to find the right, right nigga. Right. Yeah. How much would you pay <laughs> for, for the, the right, right nigga? nigga. <laughs> exactly. Right. Okay. Well, we'll see who he ends up choosing. We'll be right back. She called this thing about toxic Four years and counting Got you feeling like an option Maybe I'm my own problem, babe She tired of hearing I don't know My stubborn in me won't fall, oh, oh Dealing with this thing called trust But she really thinking about She wanna be free Welcome back. The ESPYs just passed and a lot mm -hmm. of athletes were recognized. LeBron James won the ESPY for record-breaking performance. He said the day he can't give everything on the floor is the day he'll be done. Then he said that day is not today, confirming he will not be retiring. What are your thoughts and how much longer do you think he has to play? Man, nobody thought LeBron was retiring. Yeah. Me neither. I never, I never assumed yeah, he was retiring. I never even considered that. I mean, I think there's, what's the actual award? It was um, record-breaking performance. I think LeBron deserved that award. Yeah. I think his longevity speaks volumes. Um, as much as, you know, we're older, so our favorites is Michael Jordan, or you got mm -hmm. Isaiah Thomas, or you got Larry Bird, or you got yeah. whoever. And, we're, and as much as we don't pay attention to it, mm -hmm. Isaiah Thomas, 13 seasons. Larry yeah. Bird, what, 12 seasons. Yeah. Uh, nobody, even Mike, nobody's playing 20 seasons at the level he's playing. Yeah. Um, I just give him kudos. I still can't put him above Mike. What you give him? I, I gave him kudos. That's, that's that? a pause? No, I, I just don't know what kudos. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> what's kudos? If, now, don't now you don't know kudos. <laughs> I learned kudos from you. I learned it. You the one taught me kudos. You know you ain't teach me kudos? <laughs> Now niggas looking for now shit. Now niggas Coo teaching you kudos. Kudos. <laughs> kudos. What? What is it? Kudos. I give him props. It? All right. I okay. give him. I give yeah. him his props, I man. I Listen, man. And killer is evolving. You know. Okay. Think about okay. This, you know. And let me. Let me. Let me. Let me be clear. But what is kudos again? For real. It's props. I said okay. props. Okay. I, okay. I, I, okay. I, I, All right. 
Do you think you're better than LeBron now that I think about it? No, I don't think I'm better than LeBron. No, I don't think I'm better than LeBron. No, I don't think I'm better than LeBron. There was a time. No, no, tell me. There was a time. There was a time. As a matter of fact, you said you're better than Dwayne though. Wade, too, now that I think about it. Yeah. Do you better than Dwayne Wade? Since you're here. Yeah, since we're talking Might about as well. it. Since you just shitted on his whole award. You said, yeah. fuck, you said fuck, kudos. Since you said behind said, the, the scenes, scenes he had I take pearls that as fuck on. That award. All right. That's how I take okay, it. let's talk yeah, about let's it. it. Yeah. Let's do it. This is, right. it is what it is. All right. I take that as you, when we try, I'm giving trying to give LeBron some props and you ain't say fuck that award. You ask me, what's your question now? Are you better than LeBron in your prime? Than he is. No, I'm not better than LeBron, but on any given day, I can be. Okay. So game seven. Paul, I don't like these answers you're giving. Because <laughs> we don't, real. listen, you want to go back and YouTube game no, seven? No, what he's saying, he don't like the answers. What he's trying to say is you're, 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 you're being overall, very political. Over, no, yeah, overall, correct. Overall, LeBron, I mean, I mean, statistics speak When you for made themselves. him throw his jersey, that's right. what yeah. we're trying yeah. to he, get he at. He left Cleveland. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he, uh, okay. Game let's seven. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about right. it. Like, I'm a big reason he went to Miami. Okay. You're okay. the reason he went to Miami. I'm a big that's reason. what we was trying to hear. I'm a big part of it. Let's talk about that. Well, let's yeah. go. Hold on. Yeah. Let's, when, let's, when, let's, when I went let's, for 40, let's, when I went for 41 in game seven, let's go. sent him home. Now, hold on. Let's yeah, no, 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 I have some shit to say about this. I have some shit to say about this. I want to YouTube this. No, no, no. Yeah. I, listen. When he threw his I jersey. It. All right. Out. Yeah, right. That's what I wanted to All talk about. All right. That's two That's two different years. Y'all, you know what? I can't I can't get past these Celtics and Pete Pierce. Let me let me fly to He said he couldn't get past Paul. I can't get past these Celtics and P. Pierce. I don't know if he said it, but that's Yo, what I listen, thought. Listen, so let me ask you a question. I'm just saying. And I'm not saying you ain't killed that year because I watched it. I know yeah. exactly. Come on now. I know exactly what you're talking about, but it wasn't some shit going on with his team. And, and there's all that. Know you that. know it know. wasn't some shit going on with his team when niggas was doing foul shit by his back. You can do your yes and no. Yes and no. Was it the niggas at the foul shit? I don't right. know what's going on but, over there. So you ain't hear about it. I I, 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 don't, know I don't know shit. You in the? I'm not <laughs> in the league. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know shit. You I don't ain't hear know. niggas on his team was doing nah, some foul shit behind his back. Nah, that I, ain't, I ain't hear shit. Oh, you know you nah, had forty. Nah, nah I, I just it. know I had forty. All right, so <laughs> that's all I knew. <laughs> I know I heard about some foul shit going on in his team, which I'm not going to talk about. I don't know if that's true or not. I heard a lot of foul shit. I don't know what's true. Are you better than LeBron in your prime? We don't need no give it night. I ain't saying I'm better than LeBron. No, I'm not better than LeBron, but any given day, I can be. Are you better than Dwayne Wade? I've seen this argument. All right, now let's talk about like, this. Are you better than Dwayne Wade? All right, accolades, he got more accolades than me. Yeah, he got three championships. I got one, okay? Let's stop right man, there. Me no, no, listen, listen, mic, listen, 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 listen. No, I want to hear this. All right, hear. you telling me if you need a bucket down the stretch, who you want, Dwayne Wade or me? Let me ask y'all this: If you want to, if you want to, if you want the, you want to win the game down the stretch with the, who you giving the ball to? I'm, I, a, I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna say I give you the ball down the stretch, boys. I, I I'll go with that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll give you that. What do you say, Mace? Who, who, who? Who, who a better three? Hold on, three, hold on. Who a better hold, three? Who a better three point shooter? Hold on, hold on. This is what we gonna do. This is what we gonna do. We gonna ask this question because it seems like you got a series of questions. All right. Yeah. Down I the stretch. Got some questions. I'll give you down the stretch. Or game on the line, Paul Pierce. What do you say, Stat? Mm -hmm. no, she's from Florida. She don't know, though. She need to go to YouTube. No, no, no. She's just from Florida. She don't know. It don't matter about Florida. It don't matter about Florida. Go to YouTube. So who would you pick, mate? He don't know. He don't watch. Martin didn't watch basketball. He just went to the Knicks. He went to the Knicks games. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if you went to the Knicks games. If you went to the Knicks games, how many times did I bust the Knicks ass? Come on now, if you was at oh, them that's games. Crazy. Yeah. that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't hold you niggas. I don't hold you Paul. Niggas in the control room like, word up, Paul. Paul, you was getting crazy. Okay, you was versus getting crazy. Yo, you was definitely getting crazy. I, I you was definitely one, definitely getting crazy. You was definitely getting crazy. But there was one season that I would have went with Wade, but that was probably before, um, that was before. That's before the KG ball. and them, yeah. The KG, all right, whatever, yeah. whatever. All right, so now. I, down the stretch pause, I'm giving you the yeah. ball. All right, so now, put Shaq on my team, put LeBron and Bosch with me. I'm not going to win one, you don't think? 
Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you got put, shit on. Me, LeBron, and Isaiah Thomas said. Me, LeBron, and and Bosh. We can't get. We not gonna win one. Yeah. Are we not gonna win a couple. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm saying that's though. That's true. That's true. So I'm saying though, like, right. like who's the better three point shooter? Yeah. Sure. That's yeah. A, yeah. Like, yeah. Is he is he a better scorer? Does, is he a better scorer? Okay, he averaged more points than me career. I can shoot the three. He's a better the slasher. I can post up. I can get to the line. Who a better score? So you know what it is? And I, no, I'm, I'm totally- Yeah, no. it's just he was fancier. Yeah, okay. yeah it was just That's he was fancier. That's all I'm saying. No, what I'm going to say Let's is- Let's break it down. No, well, I was about to, I'm about to give you a props. But I, it's this Because serious. what happened is this. This is a good topic. A hundred percent good topic because- Way was better two-way though. What happened is that- Dwayne Wade is flashy. He right. slashes everything. And what I seen was Doc Rivers say something about you one time. And it was like preseason when y'all practice and do other things. He's like, these young boys come in there and think Paul is slow, think he can't jump, think he's not athletic. And his skill set is so amazing, pause, that he kills them before the season even starts. And they think they're going to come in there and do that. So... Dwayne Wade looks more fancy. He dunks, he jumps around, but or you flash. have a great, yeah, but you have a great skill set. And I'll give you that. And what you made was great points. If you had Shaq for a year, you may win a championship. If you got Bosch and LeBron, definitely you don't want to LeBron. Mm. Like, come on. Right. Come so, on now. Whatever. Quite nice. You're going to so, say so, something, Murder. Yeah. And, and, and I, was, I don't want this to be a knock verse way. No, Wade no, no it's, not, it's not a knock but verse way. But I'm just way. saying, like, I think. We in the boss shop. My, yeah, for we, time, we got to For a long ask time, my skills went unappreciated because I didn't get to play with a lot of great players. Yeah. And then I got to play with KG and Ray past their prime. Okay, if four years earlier you put me, Ray, and KG together, you think we ain't walking away with three chips? Right. That's real. But you how did me? you feel about Ray when he left? He was disappointed the way he, he did it. Okay. But no, <laughs> that's we what we want to know. No, that's what, we, that's what done. I want to know. Right. I want to know the smoke. Okay, no, like, he, like, he don't want to leave. He don't want to leave the stock. Like, 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 let's go. Let's in go. my in the run, the run we had in 2008, yeah. I had to play against LeBron and Kobe. Was I was I better than them in them series? You were actually. What about 2009? 2009, KG got hurt. I didn't get a chance to play against uh. LeBron, uh, we won 63 games. We won 63 games, and KG missed like 30 games. Right. And so, you know, and what I about just 2010? Think we went to the finals and lost. Right. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. I know, you know that. We yeah. lost. Ron Artest was a big part of that. Right. Al Gasol. Right. You know, Kobe, Kobe, as great as Kobe was in the final game seven, he shot like six for 28. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I held my own against the greatest. I agree with that. And on a lot of on a lot of nights, I was better than them. Yeah, right. But I just wasn't the flashy one. I wasn't the one with the most popular opinion. I wasn't, you know, they was like Boston Celtics. Nobody ever liked the Boston Celtics. You know what I'm saying? Everybody liked the Lakers. Everybody liked. Nah, there's Boston niggas that's that like on everybody doing niggas the windmills like and all that. But I was more, I was more physical, and I was bringing that hard hat every night. Right. And, and I, everybody hated me. I get booed in these arenas. Right. I got booed at the All-Star game. So what? I could wear the black hat. Mm -hmm. That was me. So it's an unpopular opinion. Everybody going to say this and that. But on my best days, I'm with them. I, I agree. I'm not just. Mm -hmm. And listen, I, I wasn't, when I seen uh, y'all talking about the Wade thing, I thought that was a great debate until yeah. you just said what you said, because I'm a Dwayne Wade fan as well. Yeah. Um, but then when you broke down, if you had those people on the team, because what did he do without them? LeBron's the best. What did them the, is a do, great GM player. Like what did Wade do without them? He didn't do anything. That's a great point. Mm. But what did you do without KG and 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 same thing they right. did? Okay. Same <laughs> thing they did. Okay. <laughs> so that's what I was twenty seven <laughs> didn't make the playoffs first round exit. Same okay, thing. Cool. That's what I was saying. So <laughs> Keep that same. You feel me? You feel me? Exactly. Let's talk about it. Exactly. He's from Florida. Hey, let's talk about it. Yeah, he's from Florida. You, you, you from he's Arizona from when it's convenient. <laughs> <laughs> we driving to Phoenix to know about your small name. <laughs> right there.
No, so, this is real. This is but, real. No, but I, I like your opinion on that, and that's something that if somebody is not a real fan of, like, look, I wouldn't have put it like that if you didn't say it like that. I wouldn't have yeah. thought about that because what happens is when we see these segments and they say, oh, you're bugging out. You ain't got this many finals, MVP, this fight. And then it cuts when we're watching it on our phone or we're watching mm-hmm. the clip on YouTube. Right. So you don't get the extended answer that you're giving right now. So that's yeah. what I was I'm wondering about. I'm a 10-time All-Star. Right. Top 75 player. You put me with them, we're going to win it. Right. Yeah. I'm clutch as fuck. Mm-hmm. We're going to win it. You right. put me with Shaq. You put me with LeBron. It's going to be the same three, four rings. That's what's up. Period. That's what I feel. Right. So that's my opinion. I'm going to leave y'all with that. I hope everybody in the world can see this. I hope this blasts through social oh, no, media. We, no, definitely. Yeah, no, we're going to make sure. Oh, yeah. We're going to make sure people <laughs> see it. And understand Absolutely. this. We're going to set up to... a clip just for this. But back to what Murder said, where Ray said, fuck y'all and went to Miami. <laughs> How you felt about that? Oh, I did feel a certain kind of way because we just got eliminated from Miami. Right. Yeah. Like, come on, dog. Like, right. this is our enemies. Right. Like, and that's the culture we come from. Like, dog, we don't do that. Right. We don't do that. We don't, we don't go to what a team we just lost to. Cause it seemed like Rondo, you and KG had a different hate. For Ray Allen, like it was yeah. like on site. If y'all was like, it was that kind of energy <laughs> I was, was feeling. Yeah. That's what the game needs. No, yeah. I, no, and I, and I wish they was the last of our breed. Yeah, and yeah, and, like, and what I on, say, bro. the reason I say this is because this is great to ask because you yeah. act, you say, you ask the question, but we don't know how they they, they could tell us how they yeah. feeling. How'd it go? How'd you find so out? So this is this is this is how it went down. So I'd never had a chance to talk to Ray. During the whole free agency period, all I do, I look up on the news. He with Miami, so I'm like, oh, that's some bullshit. Like, what? Why you ain't signed back? Like, you left your brothers and went to them. The nigga was in France. This is my or thing with the suit on. So this my thing. When you accomplish something great and you've been around, like, you're not only my teammate, you my family. Because on Christmas, my kids is with your kids. We going to your house. You coming to my house. Halloween, we going trick or treating together. So if you my brother and we consider ourselves brothers. You talk to us and be like, look, y'all, I'm going to go here. Right. I'm going to do this. Gotcha. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Ain't no hard feelings. This is a business move. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think a brother would do. Right. But why, you don't hit me up and be like, you know what? Upper management don't want to give me the money I want to get. They're going to give me a better role or whatever. You can tell me that. Right. And that's what my beef was with him. And I, and I told him that. I said, dog, I don't care. You went to Miami. But like, if it was something with management, you needed more money, I would have I would have stood up for you. Right. I would have been like, D.A., give him a couple more million, man. We want right. him here. Right. And if that's all took, it took. So you would have took a pay cut to give him yeah, more money? Yeah. Right. Yeah, mm. why not? We, right. we winning over right. here. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But to just leave, don't say nothing to us, and then just, don't, and then I called him, though. Mm. I hit him up like, what's up? And you don't answer my calls no more? Right. What's that all about? Got you. What's that mm. all about? You feel me? Yeah, I got you. As a brother, don't right. like you ignoring me now? A hundred percent, I dig Let that. me oh, ask now, you, you something. You know what, homeboy? I'm over here now. Right. Pierce, let me ask you something. Do you think he taught that to LeBron? Taught, he taught that. Like, like just to dip out, no no call or nothing. I don't know what he taught me. <laughs> that ain't from the culture I come from. <laughs> like, if you really my brother and I tell you something and we fuck with each other like that, and I'm not feeling what you doing, I'm going to mm-hmm. tell you this. I'm like, exactly. look, man, I ain't feeling that, dog. I'm, I'm over here, dog. You... You you over here like 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 I broke up with my girl, but you friends with her? Yeah. Right. And the reason you know her is because of me. Right. That's mm-hmm. that type of Right, gotcha. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. Yeah, you think that's so yeah. cold, right. Cold right. Cold Absolutely. About this, and y'all know what I'm talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. So I ain't I, I don't roll like that. I'm old school, you can call it what you want, but I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Like this is how it go when you brothers. Right. Like your mm-hmm. kids was with my kids, you you at my house, I'm at your house in the movie theater. We watch the Super Bowl. We doing we trick or treat like dog. Right, it, 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 that's all it was. Right, a phone call. Like dog, you know what? I ain't feeling management. Go, uh, you know what? I respect that. Right, I respect that. At the end of the day, do you fuck with them now, pause? Yeah, we cool. Okay, that we had cool. to get out the way, and you that's out the way. We settled it, and I told them exactly what I told y'all, and right. it was like, you right, P. I should have talked to you. I should have gave you a call. At least, at least give me that. Okay. Gotcha. You know, shout so out now, to Raymond. Yeah, shout out to Raymond. Walter. 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 <laughs> shout out to Walter Raymond. Walter. You know? 
I got love for Walter, though, you know, but that's all that was. No, I dig that. Because the same way, listen, winning a championship, probably, you no, know, we have no NBA experience, period, whatsoever, but I can imagine. Because I get a, look, K, KG's my guy, my guy. Like, that's my mm -hmm. nigga, because, you know, he came in the NBA kind of like right before we got out there, like, I remember we go out to the club or when he got two eight pages. KG would leave his black card at the bar and say, "Y'all go crazy." And I'm like, "You bugging, K? It's early." <laughs> no, his on the two eight page of his signature was nine digit nigga. I remember that shit on his receipt, and that's my guy. And I seen how he so upset he was because he's real passionate too. Oh yeah, KG, for sure. Super passionate yeah. and. He was really mad about that shit. And I'm like, yo, KG is mad. And I seen Rondo mad. I seen you mad too, but you know, KG's vocal. You know, fuck niggas and all type of shit. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, <laughs> it's one thing when somebody leaves to me, um, just in free agency, if if it's a regular season. But when you win a championship, you know how much KG, now KG probably got the best uh anything possible after a game should ever because of all the years he suffered in Minnesota. So the brotherhood is probably even bigger yeah. after you win a yeah. championship. So yeah. I understand the frustration. Like, yo, we all been here and never yeah. won no championship and we got a chance to do it again, but you're going to go to the team that could possibly eliminate us. So yeah, I said exactly. that. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah, the brotherhood is going to so always that, be that crazy. different. Right, absolutely. It's going to always be crazy when you with the people you won with. Yeah, right. It's, yeah. You're yeah. going to remember them. Even the niggas on the bench, you remember every single person. Exactly. Yeah. That's how it go, though. So that just felt like a kind of like a little betrayal. But we squashed it all, and you saw when we did KG retirement, how we all came together. That was our first time coming together. Right. You know, so yep. I'm glad that we was all able to squash the beef. And everything got settled and we talked about it and it's over with. That's what's up. Let me ask you this. Is there anything else that you want to get off your chest that people don't talk about <laughs> enough when it comes to Paul? I do. I do yeah, got some yeah. other shit. Like, tell me what else did you did First you of all, about? I did yep. shit in the finals, yo. I'm tired of this narrative talking yeah. about I shit in the finals and I got a wheelchair because I shit. Like, come on, B. Why? Come on. Well, with that, we will be right back with part two. <laughs> What you want, nigga? Everything, nigga, super size. Two Big Macs. Like when they doing them two for five.